Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create a retro ink blotted type banner, just like the one that you've seen here. Okay, so first thing you want to do is select the background which we're going to crop, and then we want to create a new image. I'm going to create it 600 by 600 and have the background contents as transparent, and then hit OK. Now, using our shape tool, you can use circles or squares, doesn't really matter. Just draw some circles and squares in some random places and then we'll use this to create the blots. So now we want to go into filter, distort and wave and then now these are the default settings here. You've got a little preview of what it will look like and when you hit the randomize button it sort of changes it. So we just want to play around with this until we get something that looks like what we want. Something that we can use on a banner. So just playing around. Now you can spend a lot of time on this. It's really up to you. Now because what we're going to do is select a section. So I'm going to just play around with this until I find something and I'm just going to pause it and then come back okay so this is what I've come up with so I've used these settings here but chances are you're not going to get the same effect um, so I'm just going to hit OK and that's given us that now we just want to crop the section that we want to use so I'm just going to zoom out and then using the selection tool I'm going to use this section here and then just go into edit copy and then click on our picture here go edit paste zoom out a bit and then go edit transform scale then whilst holding shift I'm just gonna scale that down to fit somewhere on this picture probably the, probably at the bottom zoom back in give that a tick and then highlight that selection I'll just select that selection and then go image crop and now all we need to do is add some text so I'm just going to click here change the color to white type in retro give that a tick use the move tool to position it and then of course you can just go and right click and select blending options and then just give that a bevel and emboss and tick contour then hit OK and then we'll drag this layer below the dots layer and then just using the eraser tool with the opacity at 75% hold control click on the text and then select the blotted layer and then just go over the text just so you can read it just like that and deselect zoom in and there you have it hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching